Ruvis Sonko may be considering to engage in a benchmarking escapade in Kigali, Rwanda for 300 hawkers, but a border's M at two operators has been received with mixed reaction. The plan is intended to draw lessons from Rwanda's renowned efficient road se transport sector with hopes to instill some sanity in a sector otherwise known to be chaotic. But can a benchmarking trip really solve Nairobi's transport and commercial problems? Well, Timothy Tieno explores. The Nairobi County government wants to send 100 border border operators, 100 hawkers, and 100 matatu operators on an exclusive benchmarking trip to Kigali, Rwanda. After the announcement was made by Nairobi County's director of city inspectorate, Peter Mbaya, the reactions followed in quick succession. Jia Kenya na Rwanda ziko tofauti. U Kenya tunatengemeanga economy ya biashara. So, sector matatu, okas and boda boda, hiyo ndi ule sector inepatia country sa mingi. Benchmarking, how can it solve? Watu wanataka tuku kulado peke yake. Kuna nauna, I'm very sure that they are not even going to take the, those people who are on the ground. Sia idea mbaya, because as long as kama unajua muna provide ya watu na transport, Malipa kulala, kukula, na unajua nenda kuwa na seminar. Lilian Wambui is a stage clerk at the Utimo Bus Sako. We find her on her daily routine of tracking the accounts of her fleet of buses along Mfangano Street. Akisema, hallelujah. Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko has had sleepless nights trying to tame the Matatu sector with a directive to have the buses banned from entering the central business district in September 2017, failing to kick off. The governor is hoping the benchmarking trip may offer solutions to the problem of buses overcrowding the CBD. Lillian agrees. Kama huku iko successful, pia pa na believe ineza kwa successful as long as watu wako na the knowledge na wame ona impact ya venye ina work. Across the street, we find Stephen Diongo hawking clothes amongst the crowd of people. If the plan kicks off, hawkers, 100 of them, could board flights destined for Kigali. But Stephen, unlike Lillian, is not so optimistic that a field trip can help get rid of the growing numbers of hawkers along Nairobi streets. Hiyo ni kupoteza wakati, hafu public resources, to stage of public resources, kwa kue orderly, na order mana, yo at least. Saa kusema wapeke benchmarking, yo si ni kupoteza wakati bado. Rwanda's boda boda industry is arguably the region's most refined when I visited the city in December 2014, I discovered the country formulated and adopted the public transport policy and strategy plan of 2012 that guides border border operators. The developer of that plan, Peterson Mutabezi, told KTN News that the solution to the menace is simple. In many other countries, I think the cause of the disorder is because they have not yet recognized it as a mode of travel. Border border operators in Rwanda are required to have identification numbers on their helmets and reflector jackets that can be used to track their movement and report any cases of malpractice. In Nairobi, the county government's push to have border borders banned from the CBD fell flat after the operators moved to court. The county is yet to give details on how the shortlisting exercise for the 300 people will be conducted, even with the budget for the trip yet to be concluded. KTN News efforts to get details on the same bore no fruits. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.